the classroom is becoming a place of misbehavior and sometimes even violence. The New Brunswick Department of Education wants to put a stop to this. Now, ADB Laverne Stewart's in Frederick and Laverne. What are we about to see happen in New Brunswick? Well, Paul, the government wants school boards to set up policies that would give control of the classroom back to teachers and put an end to the increasing amount of violence that's happening in many schools across the province. Now take off your skates and go to the church and ask God to forgive you. Teachers are spending more and more of their time trying to control situations that are often uncontrollable. Corporal punishment as a means of dealing with disruptions to the classroom will never be brought back into the education system. So teachers say they need other means of dealing with violence that exists today. In fact, they say the number one concern is violence against other students and themselves. So are teachers eventually, after these policies set down, going to be able to go into the classroom and do what their job is to do, which is teach and not referee and not have to worry about violence against themselves or other students? Well, that is the ultimate hope, and I, and I think that will come about from, a, as a, from an educational process within the schools. Please leave about three to four lines between each question for your answer. Okay. The New Brunswick Teachers Association sees this announcement as a good first step. It's the follow-up that will be the test to find out if teachers will no longer have to spend long amounts of time in trying to control some students. Who in creating a proper learning environment, teachers would like to see more guidance counselors, psychologists, and home tutoring. And the minister's statement mentions the provision of alternate settings for students who are consistently and, uh, and substantially disruptive. Hmm. An alternate setting might be in a special school outside the normal school, and we have several of those in the province. My belief is that we need more. We hope, obviously, uh, an overall improvement in uh, student behavior and a uh, marked decline in uh, acts of violence in the schools of this province. According to the Department of Education, entire communities must get involved to put an end to the growing amount of violence that's happening in our schools. The question that begs to be asked here, Laverne, is how can communities go about doing this? Well, in speaking with the Deputy Minister of Education this afternoon, I was told that along with the school boards, the PTA and even students will be giving their input in order to set these policies of discipline down. All right. Thanks. Okay. Back to school time again. Laverne Stewart and Frederick and Nance.